Actually, I'm just one of the members of this program. But, um, let's not waste the power of fashion. Our world has changed in a rapid pace. Our jobs aren't like 50 years ago. Our cars became more comfortable and energy efficient. Our phones became wireless, multifunctional communication tools. All on the influence of the technical possibilities. Also in fashion there happens quite some cool stuff, like this lighting outfit of Anouk Wiprecht. Or these lovely transformable dresses by Hussein Chalian, the master when we talk about technical inspired fashion. Something opens. <laughs> Exciting catwalk statements. But everyday garments that you and I wear, the garments that we experience as being most intimate and that we use to uh, express our identity, those remain the same. Those are made with the same clothing technology and production methods as the garments of my mom and dad, as you see here. When they were young, they don't fit it anymore. They are made out of the same fibers as my grandmother's garments when she was young. In fact, the last new material widely accepted by the fashion industry was polyester in the 1950s. The fashion industry is hyperventilating. Every month we can find complete new collections in the stores, but this new fashion focuses primarily on appearance. This lack of innovation in there frustrates me. Especially because in the technical research institutes there is happening amazing stuff. Like what you see here, new materials, uh, like fibers that transform sunlight into electricity. Our production processes, um, knitting machines that can knit multi-layered fabrics or even complete garments in ones. Or flexible electronics, like electronics that you can wear next to the body. As you see here, the light system integrated into textiles. But creating acceptance especially for products that you are wearing close to the body, that you experience as intimate, is quite difficult. It's hard to create acceptance for those kind of innovations. But guess who's always able to make you feel in need of something new? To give you the feeling that it's time for a change? To create acceptance for a new idea? Of course, the fashion labels. We always get the feeling that we have to buy something new at the stores. This is a very powerful and amazing ability. What if these two worlds, these two worlds with their own identity, even their own language, these technicians and these fashion designers, started collaboration, collaborating? Then garments could become not only beautiful pieces of insulation, but also the innovations, the parts of innovation that comes closest to us. This is my goal, to motivate um, collaboration between fashion designers and technicians. Let's not waste the power of fashion anymore. Let's create true collaboration for a truly innovative fashion industry. Are you already curious how this could look like? Uh. Here is a sneak preview of the future. No future at all. There should be <laughs> music right now. Is there a slide with music? Slides. 25. <laughs> 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 I 
Okay, no problem. Girls, please. <laughs> so I'm going to explain what we see here. Um, this dress is, has tiny OLEDs integrated. It's an interactive skirt made with Professor Feis from the TUE. And uh, the OLED is a new light surface technology. Uh, it is pre-programmed so that when someone comes close, the rhythm of the light is changed. Changed. Changes. Sorry for that one. At the back of her, you see another product. It's a, a magnet zipper. <laughs> Thank you, Astrid. Or imagine garments that take care for you. Um, as you see here, a scarf made with uh, Bram van Waardenburg. It has a sensor integrated in it that measures the air quality and makes Laura her aware of the pollution via this LED block. Or this ca scarf is the blue touch. I got a chance to think with Philips uh, how to fixate this device on the body. You can open it up. And you can see the blue light that comes out of here. It's a hybrid textile product um, that um, relieves back pain. So the blue light has a healing function. Thank you, Laura. <coughs> or imagine garments that help you, for example, by charging your phone. As you see here, the three proof of principles of the solar fiber. Um, these items uh, have integrated solar fiber in here and guide the light to a, a tiny um, solar cell so that it helps to transform sunlight into electricity. Now, not too much sunlight here, but you see already that there's happening something when you open up the light or not. <laughs> Thank you for the sun. So you see the, <laughs> the multimaker, multimeter changing. Uh, these garments are made with Aniela Holtink, Ralph Jacobs and Mac Grant. I believe that demonstrators like these have a great impact during innovation processes. That you make things tactile, that you start um, with these items. I try to motivate um, innovative fashion and expand this innovative fashion by making connections between individuals, companies and institutes. Through better collaboration between technicians and fashion designers, I foresee the world as fashion, as beautiful, intimate, technology-driven pieces of uh, interfaces between a rapidly changing world and us. Thank you.